In this video, I'm going to show you how to open a OneNote notebook for the first time. In order to do that, we're going to need you to log onto your Office 365 account. You can get there from any computer in the school by going to the bottom left Windows icon and opening up Microsoft 365 login. Once you get to this login page, you'll be prompted to put in your username and password. After you go ahead and click sign in, it's going to bring you to a home screen where you'll see several icons. You want to go ahead and click on the icon that says OneDrive. Once you click on OneDrive, on the left hand side you'll see a link that says Shared With Me. This is where you would go to open up any documents that a teacher has shared with you. Once you click on Shared With, with Me, you're going to see different names of documents. Go ahead and click on the name of the document that your teacher has asked you to open. Once you do that, it's going to open up the online version of OneNote. The online version of OneNote is limited in some of its features, including being able to write on the computer screen. We would like to launch this into the full desktop version so you can use all of those features. In order to do that, you're going to need to click on this little link that says Edit in Microsoft OneNote. After you click on Edit in Microsoft OneNote, you might have a gray box that opens up where it asks you to select the application. You want to make sure that that says OneNote 2016. You might get a button that says OK or Open Link. Go ahead and click on that. After you do that, you're going to come up with a security notice and you can hit Yes. From here, you're going to be prompted to put in your username and password for the first time, and that's so the sync on your computer can be completed. So the username and password is what you just signed into in order to access your Office 365 account. It would be your first initial and last name at LindworthSchools.org. After you've entered your username and password, you're going to see a few areas, including your content library and your name. The content library is the library of information that your teacher has provided for you, and your notebook is the area where you can work on all of this information. This little green button is going to be important to move back and forth between the library and your notebook. If your teacher asks you to take something from the content library and put it into your own notebook, this is how you would go about doing that. Click on Content Library. Go to the tab that you're directed to go to, in this case it's Class Notes. Right click on the page that you need to copy and click on the Copy button. From there, you're going to use the little green arrow. You're going to go back to your own notebook and you are going to go to the section that you want to put those notes in. Where it says Page, right click and hit Paste. From here, you could type anywhere on the page and move that information around.